now let us discuss about transaction states in dbms a transaction passes through various states such as active state partially committed state committed state failed state aborted state and terminated state uh, we know what is a transaction transaction means a collection of instructions generally it is the duty of the cpu to execute any program or any transaction but for that we have to use memory initially any program or hard disk any program or transaction will be stored in hard disk so in hard disk any program or transaction will be stored but here the access speed of the cpu is very very faster whereas the access speed of hard disk is very very slower so to compensate the speed difference we use as ram so ram means main memory main memory the access speed of the main memory is very very faster when compared with hard disk so now initially the program will be stored in hard disk now it is the duty of operating system to transfer the program or transaction from hard disk into the ram so whenever the transaction is in ram then cpu executes the transaction so once execution of the transaction is over then operating system once again transfer the transaction to the hard disk okay now let us discuss about all these states one by one so the first state is active so this is nothing but beginning we know that a transaction means a collection of instructions so when an instruction of the transaction is executing then we can say that the transaction is in active state so let we have 10 instructions in a transaction when one of the instruction is ex executing it may be first one or second one or third one any instruction when one of the instruction is executing then we can say that the transaction is in active state so active state means the transaction is in ram the transaction is in ram generally transaction mainly contains read operation and write operation once the read and write operations are completed so this is read and write operations once the read and write operations are completed then the transaction goes into partially committed state partially committed state suppose if any instruction fail if there is a problem in any instruction if there is a problem in any instruction then the transaction goes to the failed state that problem may be either hardware problem or software problem okay now let us discuss about partially committed state so what is partially committed state if read and write operations of a transaction or completed successfully without any problem then the transaction goes into the partially committed state partially committed state means if there are n instructions then out of n instructions n minus 1 instructions are executed successfully here we have to execute only one instruction okay so remaining n minus 1 instructions will be executed in active state only in partially committed state only one instruction will be executed that instruction is commit instruction that instruction is commit instruction so let us assume that transaction contains 10 instructions so out of 10 instructions the first nine are some read and write instructions those instructions will be executed in active state only if all those nine instructions are completed then it will goes to the partially committed state once this commit operation is executed then commit means permanent store we know about commit 
so whenever commit instruction is executed then all these operations will be permanently stored in the computer permanently stored in the hard disk okay so that changes will be visible to the user okay so here partially committed state means the instruction is in ram only the instruction is in ram only if that last instruction if commit instruction is executed then it will goes into the committed state suppose if there is a problem in the last instruction then it will goes to the failed state okay so from partially committed state also we can go to the failed state when if there is a problem it may be either hardware problem or software problem while executing this last instruction then the transaction goes to the failed state so this failed state means the transaction is in ram only now what is a committed state committed state means that that the entire transaction is executed successfully so the entire program the entire transaction is executed successfully so now there is no need of the transaction so operating system transfers the transaction to the hard disk so we can say that committed state means the transaction is in hard disk the transaction is in hard disk whereas active state means the transaction is in ram partially committed means the transaction is in ram failed state means the transaction is in ram whereas committed means the transaction was executed successfully so after executing the transaction the transaction will be transferred to the hard disk from the main memory or ram next once it is permanently stored then there is no need of any additional resources so for the transaction there may be some resources some resources will be allocated like files will be allocated io devices will be allocated so now all those resources will be freed and it will be moved to the terminated state so terminated state means the resources that are allocated for the transaction those resources will be freed so we can use those resources for storing some other transaction okay so that is nothing but terminated state now let us see about failed state so failed state means the transaction is failed so what will happen we have to roll back why because if there are 10 instructions then let us assume that out of 10 instruction there is a problem at third instruction there is a problem at third instruction then once again we have to roll back to the first instruction of the transaction why because transaction means atomicity yeah atomicity means all the instructions will be executed in a single unit so if there is any problem then we have to roll back to the starting instruction of the transaction so that is the state roll back roll back means that transaction is aborted the transaction is aborted and once again the first instruction from the first instruction onwards the transaction will gets executed so after that it will goes to the terminated state to release the resources for the corresponding transaction so here also the transaction will be in ram only okay aborted means here also why because once again we are executing the transactions okay so in committed state and as well as in terminated state in terminated state the transaction is in hard disk whereas in remaining states the active partially committed failed and aborted the transaction is in ram so this is about transaction states in dbms please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching